when I was 16, 17 years old, I made a commitment with myself. I will not become a slave of my life. I will not lose my freedom. I will not trade my time and my energy for something that I didn't like. At that time, I was entering what having a life meant. Having a life. That means that you have to give up the things that you love because now you have a life. Now you have responsibilities. Now you have to take care of yourself. You have to take care of your family. You have to, to work. You have to maintain a home. You have to pay bills. And you don't have time for the non-important things. You don't have time for the non-important things. And what are those important things? Things that I didn't like. So I made a commitment with myself. And I said, Emilio, you are going to do whatever it takes to be able to create the life that you want to create. Whatever it takes to be able to do the things that you have to do as fast as possible so that you can open up free time to keep doing the things that you love and keep exploring the things that you want to explore in life. Yes, I made that commitment with myself because I was entering life and I didn't like some of the things that I saw. I saw. So my desire was to create a lifestyle that I loved. A lifestyle that allowed for space and time to do the things that I wanted to do. Space and time to explore. Space and time to, for creativity. Space and time to discover, to play, to have fun. Because having a life doesn't mean that you have to give everything up. And that's why I made that commitment. Internally, I was struggling because I knew that I wanted to do that, but I felt, Emilio, can you do that? Is that the right thing to do? Everybody else is doing something different. Who are you to do something different? Why do you deserve a life like that? What are you, a rich person? Something that someone that deserves? Why do I deserve this? And externally, that was the norm. That's what everybody else was doing. That's what everybody else was telling me. Emilio, once you get a life, once you have obligations, once you have a job and a family and a business to maintain, you have to forget of the things that you like doing because you won't have time. And I was saying, what are you talking about? I will have time. <laughs> I will do whatever it takes to create that time. You don't know who I am. I will not trade my time, my freedom for just the day-to-day -day things. There is way more to life than that. After having a life for a few years, I was able to position myself in a situation that allowed me to travel the world for four years. So that was a sweet result of me being intentional, a sweet result of me making a commitment with myself, with intention, and keeping it. I was able to start 2008, September 2008. I will never forget that date. I took a flight from Barcelona, Spain to India, New Delhi. I started traveling there almost a year in India and then I did all the countries around all the way to New Zealand where I lived for almost two and a half years. And that's where I met my wife, Samantha, actually. She's Canadian, but I met her there. So I came to Canada after that amazing trip that opened my mind so much to the possibilities of life, to all the options that are in front of us, but many times we cannot see them because we are too busy, too busy doing things that we don't care about, too busy doing things that we could probably do better, optimize them so that we can have more time and energy for all the things that we truly like, that we truly love. I consider myself very fortunate in life. I had a very nice foundation. I had a mom and a dad that loved me and supported me and taught me. I was also raised, I was born with these skills. I was born with organizational skills. I don't really know why. 
but since I was very, very little, all my family members described me as very organized, very careful, very intentional with the things around me. So that's a skill that I had since I was very, very small. On top of that, I learned from my parents, I learned from all the people around me, and I was able to hone into that power that I had to master my lifestyle, to create the things that I wanted to see around me, to be able to travel the world, to be able to come to Canada. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to start my own business. A business that allows me to create, to share the things that I have inside that I know are gonna help thousands of people, probably millions of people in the long run. Because so far, all the courses that I have created so far have reached over 15,000 people. And this has been like three or four years. So imagine what's gonna happen 10 years from now, 20 years from now. So this transformation has been huge for me. I have been able to create this lifestyle that I love. I can do what I love and get paid for it. I can have a huge impact on people's lives. But not everybody has been so fortunate that, 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 like me. Not everybody, not everybody had the opportunity to have parents around them to teach them. Not everybody had the opportunity to be raised in a home where being organized and cleanliness was the norm. Not everybody had the opportunity to learn these things. And I see around me so many people suffering because of this, that I have the responsibility to share these things. I have the passion to do it. I want to do it. Especially after helping so many people since 2012 with my business and seeing the amazing transformations that people have done. After helping them, after helping them declutter and organize their lives in all the different areas and giving them the skills, giving them very practical methods to follow then they opened up time and energy. The excitement came back. And then they started to create what they are good at because we are all unique. We all have something to offer to the world. But yet so many people are struggling with the basics that they don't get time to get there, to explore that, to nurture it, to create it and share it with others. So I see myself here having all these skills, having this passion, being able to help all those people around me tap into their power, tap into their passions and create something that is going to help a lot of people around them. Why wouldn't I do it? <laughs> that's, that's what I have to do, Emilio. That's in my soul. That's why I'm here. And I truly believe that's why. That's why I was raised the way I was. That's why I was born having those skills. That's why I traveled the world for four years. All those combined helped me be the person that I am today. And now I'm able to transfer these skills to people. People who really, really want it. People who are struggling. People who are so creative that they, they have so many ideas, but they don't have enough time to make them happen. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's the transformation I made for my own life because of a commitment I made when I was 16, 17. Because of setting that intention allow me to go through that thing all the way here and be in front of you sharing this. That was my transformation. And I know everybody has a transformation. People who are not feeling well, people who are feeling that they need to do something else in life but, but they don't know how to, it's because they are looking for their own transformation. And the way to get there is by creating space and time for that to happen. And the way to create space and time for that to happen is to optimize the basics of life so that your time and energy are not consumed just doing life, just the regular life, the obligations. You can tap into that so that you can create more time, more energy, more space to be who you want to be, to allow yourself time to create that person that is inside you. It is inside you. It was inside me. I knew it. Just screaming out. I really want to get out of here. I have things to do. Help me. Hold my hand. Shine the light. Open the door. <laughs> let me out. And I want to help you let that person out of you. By helping you master the basics of life. 
I want you to thrive in life. I was able to create for myself. And now I have the responsibility to share it with others. And I have been doing it for so long that it works. And this is the secret of life. Being able to reclaim what's important for you. You don't have to say no because you have a life, because you have a demanding job, because you have a family, because you have responsibilities, because you have a health condition. There are so many things that you can use as excuses. But there are so many other things that you could use as an empowerment. Something that you can use as excitement. Something that can motivate you to get started, to get it done. Just get started. And the way to get started is by setting that intention. Make a commitment with yourself. Really tap into yourself what's important for you. Why? And let's make it happen. And that's why I'm creating this program called Your Thriving Lifestyle right now. Because it is my path. It is what I am supposed to be doing. It has been inside me for like three or four years already. And I've been kind of like blocking it. No, no, that's no, I don't know how to do that. Who am I to do that? But it's time, guys. It's time. I'm here to help you get there. So if this is something that you feel it's inside you, if you feel that you need to be doing something else in your life but you don't know how to, if you're not feeling fulfilled in life, something is missing, if you're just disorganized, feeling overwhelmed with life, with kids, with work, responsibilities, stuff in your house you have to be doing, things you have to do, big to-do list, there is a way to be more intentional. There is a way to be able to say no. There is a way to optimize how you use your time, how you use your energy, how you create your physical space so that you can create that environment that you need to tap into your power, to tap into your uniqueness. Because the world needs to hear it. The world needs to know what you have to offer. People around you are going to benefit from that. Can you imagine your favorite singer not producing songs because he's too busy? Can you imagine your favorite writer not writing more books because he's just stuck with, with life? He just doesn't have enough time to write. Can you imagine that? You really, truly deserve at least the option of exploring this idea. So I'm here if you are ready.